Number 33, calculate the following to four significant figures. And then we have letter B. In this case, we have to find the percent composition of photographic fixer solution, aka hypo, which is Na2S2O3. Okay, so percent composition, right? I see the word percent in there, right? We know from math that percent is just something over something else times 100. So in chemistry world, it's this guy. So I'll just leave this up here. The percent composition of any element belonging to a certain compound is part divided by whole. It's the amount of that element in that compound divided by the total amount and then just multiplied by 100. Now the compound that we have here is Na2S2O3. So we have to find out the individual parts. There are three elements here, right? I see that I have sodium, I see that I have uh, sulfur, and I have oxygen. So I have three elements that are part of this compound. Basically, I'm just finding the molar mass, right? And when we find a molar mass, we have to take how many there are in the compound and times it by the molar mass on the periodic table. So in this compound, I see that I have two sodiums, so I put a two here. I see that I have two sulfurs, so I put a two here. And I see that I have three oxygens, so I put a three next to the oxygen. Now I'm going to take those numbers and multiply by the weight that's on the periodic table. So for sulfur, sorry, so for sodium, I'm going to the periodic table. Let's see if your number closely matches mine. And I'm going to get the exact numbers that I see on the periodic table. So for sodium, I see a 22.99. And just know that that's gram per mole. So I'm going to do the same thing for sulfur. I go to the sulfur. Sulfur is a non-metal, so it's on the right side of the periodic table. It's 32.06 grams per mole. And then oxygen is clear 16.00 grams per mole. Okay, so I'm going to just multiply the amount by the molar mass. So 2 times 22.99, 2 times 32.06, and 3 times 16. Let's see what we get. So for sodium, 2 times 22.99, I get 45.98, and that's grams per mole of the sodium, okay? So sulfur would be 2 times 32.06, so 64.12, and that's grams per mole of the sulfur, and then 3 times 16, it's 48. I'm just going to keep the two decimal places at the end just to keep everything nice and neat. So there we go. So now we have the individual total masses or molar masses of the sodium, the sulfur, and the oxygen. Let's just find out what the total amount would be of the whole compound. We add all those up. So 48 plus 64.12 plus 45.98, and we get a total molar mass of 158.1 grams per mole, and that's the total. So this is the number that's going to be on the bottom. But now for percent composition, we just have to do it as many times as we have the elements. So I need to find the percent composition of sodium, I need to find it for sulfur, and I need to find it for oxygen. But it's the same formula. So let's do for uh, sodium first. It's the amount of that element, right? So in this case, it's sodium. So it's this guy. The total amount of sodium was 45.98. So 45.98 divided by the total amount of the whole compound. That's this guy, 158.1. And since it's a percent, I just have to multiply by 100. When I do my math, I don't really like to put in the units because it just kind of gets a little hairy, but I know that the units are there. But just remember that a percent only has the percent unit. You just have that, right? Okay, so let's just do it for sulfur. Sulfur's total number is this, 64.12. So that goes here, 64.12, all over the total amount again, so 158.1 and then I'm just gonna multiply by 100. 
And then for oxygen, the total amount is the 48. So 48, 48.00, all divided by that total molar mass, 158.1, and then times by 100. And maybe I'll just drop this down just so that um, everything looks better. Okay, so let's do the math. Percent sodium would be, maybe I'll do it in blue just so that when I highlight it doesn't really clash. So the percent sodium, and remember we have to get it to four sig figs. So let's put it into the calci. 45.98 divided by 158.1 and then times that by 100. Four sig figs I get uh, 29.25. So this whole compound, Na2S2O3, 29% of it, 29.25, is sodium. Let's do sulfur now. 64.12 divided by 158. Oop, hold on. I think I made a little boo-boo. Let me just say 45.98 divided by 158.1 times 100. Okay, that's better. 29.08. A little change, but there's a way that we can check ourselves at the end. Okay, so now let's do sulfurs. 64.12 divided by 158.1 times by 100. Four sig figs, I get 40, the percent of sulfur would be 40.56%. And then the percent of oxygen is 48 divided by 158.1 times 100. Four sig figs, 30.36. So the percent of oxygen is 30.36. Now, in order to check yourself, right, since this is a percentage and we did each individual element, the total of the percents should equal to 100%. So if you get a number that's not 100 or not close to 100, go back and do it again. Something went wrong. So I'm just going to check mine just to make sure we didn't make any boo-boos. And it's perfectly 100, so we are good. So here are your answers. Percent sodium, 29%, 29.08. Percent sulfur, 40. And then the oxygen is 30.36. And yeah, from that we can tell that majority of the compound is sulfur, has the highest percent. So guys, that's it. What do you think? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments, give the video a like, um, subscribe to the channel. That would help us out. Just gets the word out there that this cervix exists. And thank you so much for that. Keep studying hard. You got this and I'll see you in the next lessons. Okay. Bye-bye.